when I interact with patients, they always tell me, well, it's natural, so it must be safe. Well, that's very far from the truth. Um, over the last five years, we've seen, and again, the limitation being observational, but observational data are strongly pointing to the fact that, number one, cannabis use at any point in time, be it recreational or medicinal, uh, may lead to the development of AFCVD disease, so or cardiovascular disease, and so therefore it's a risk factor. What's also compelling is the fact that when you add cardiovascular risk factors on top of cannabis, you get an even higher risk for having these events. So honestly, I say that to, to patients, you need to treat this just like you would any other risk factor um, and, and honestly understand the risks that you are taking. We're still delineating the particular role that um, THC and CBD have on the vasculature in both the cerebral vasculature as well as within the periphery. We know acute use uh, can lead to a drop in blood pressure and therefore uh, particularly when this is vaped or when it is smoked and or combusted. Uh, and so therefore that plays into the count of understanding the potential risk for, for stroke. But what's interesting is if you look at individuals who've used uh, cannabis daily over very long periods of time, uh, it's actually been associated with an increase in blood pressure, which is also a risk factor for numerous other cardiovascular conditions, 